well within striking distance of the top two spots. While their opponents in this match, the Lemon Dogs, fell back in the standings after dropping their first game today. Oh yeah, but Lemon Dogs came real close to handing OMG their first loss here at Worlds. At one point, they were in control of the game, but OMG took advantage of a dive by Nuke Duck that went a little bit too deep and blew them up from there. That dive aside though, Nuke Duck had a very solid game on Fizz. At one point, he was able to blow up Kennen before Kennen was able to pop off his ultimate, and then he kited the whole team of OMG, escaping with his life. And for the Lemon Dogs, they were actually fans of Team Solo Mid before they became opponents today, but that doesn't mean that Mithy and the Dogs will crib their game against Reggie and the Reality Stars. I've been watching TSM play for a long time since I even started League, so it's very fun to play them. They're like the first team pretty much with CLG back then in the days. And I always wanted to meet them and play against them and see how we do. Yeah, when you see the crowd and you see their fan popularity, I think it's going to be really difficult. But we have to be professional when we play and we have to look beside that. They're the second biggest threat out of everyone in our group stage. They might actually be the strongest European team, but unfortunately they drew a group of us, so it's going to be slightly harder for them to get out. So, let's see which Lem Dogs comes out. The good ones or the sour ones? Uh, to beat TSM, we have to watch every game crib and analyze their personalities. <laughs> Wow, the burn from Mithy there right at the very end. Uh, let's get into it because I know everyone here is pretty much just dying to watch this game. So let's have a look at the two teams starting out in the blue side with TSM. There, of course, Dyrus in the top lane, the odd one in the jungle, Reginald the mid laner, Wild Turtle the AD carry, and Expecial the support. And in the red side, it's Lemon Dogs. Up top is Zoro Zero, in the jungle is Dexter, the mid is Nuke Duck, AD is Tabs, and support is Mithy. Well, here in the reactions from the crowd here, we do have one Lemon Dogs fan sat somewhere <laughs> back here. Might have a couple of friends with him as well, but it's pretty clear that TSM are the fan favorites here. And I'm wondering how that's going to really play into their game and maybe into Lemon Dogs' game as well, because I don't, I don't think this crowd's going to be so loud if it's Lemon Dogs picking up those kills. That guy is definitely going to be Well, he is, yeah, is. that's for sure. <laughs> he makes up for 10 solo mid fans. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Team Solo Mid, we're going to get into the game right now, but they've been practicing against a lot of these international teams here. They've been scrimming pretty much anyone they can get their hands on. So they actually feel a lot more confident now than they did even a couple weeks ago. Well, let's have a look. We are in champ select and the first band's already coming down. Kennen going to be taken away from Zoro Zero. They've removed the Zyra as well uh, from Mithu. Has already played Zyra, of course, uh, in world so far. The other side, Sona taken away. The Rumble as well. So respect to Dyrus right there, banning out the Rumble. Uh, that is something that's very telling of TSM. You know, they like to have those mid-game dragon fights, and that's actually a big part of it for them. <laughs> so Reggie, banning out the Fizz, he doesn't want to play it, he doesn't want anyone else to play it either. Well, that's, I think that's fair enough after what we've seen from Nuke Duck in that last game. And in the games before, Corky taking away, Zed right now is left up. Now Reginald played the Zed in the first game that they had, Nuke Duck is also a Zed player. TSM are going to have to decide whether they want to first pick it now. So Zed and Ari are up, Orianna as well, there's a lot for the, the mid players to go after here and they actually don't even have to first pick one of those mids because there are so many high priority ones that are left up. So what a TSM going to go for? Zed though. Zed, first pick in there. Reginald of course did play it in their first game of the tournament against Gaming Gear. Finished 6, 3 and 10 on that one. On the other side though, Shen, Elise, two big champions for the Lemon Dogs, mm -hmm. straight in there. It's going to allow Dexter that early pressure. Uh, last time he spent a lot of time up top in the bush and didn't get a successful gank off though. So if Odd One can take advantage of misspent time by Dexter, then Solo Mid can get going very early and that's when they are the most scary, if they get the early advantage. One thing that we've pointed out is the fact that Reginald needs to do well here and Dexter previously in the summon split has spent a lot of time babysitting mid lane and that could be a danger here for Reginald if that's the weakness that Lemon Dogs are pointing out. Yeah, the EU teams are always very mid-centric and they have their junglers visit mid a lot. In North America though, TSM is the team 
that plays that same style. They they always have odd one in mid with Reginald to back him up. Well, this time around the Thresh and Caitlyn is a duo lane for Wild Turtle and X Special. Actually, the first time that we're going to see something other than Corky coming out for Wild Turtle. On the other side, Ari picked up for Nuke Duck. What are Lemon Dog's <laughs> going to finish off? Sime, doubt it. The Caitlyn also, uh, it's worth noting that I was Wild Turtle's Penta champion, uh, Pentacle champion in the North American LCS. So even though he hasn't done it recently with all the the Corky hype that's been going on. It's definitely a very strong champion for him. So, what are we going to see out of TSM for their final picks? Vladimir is something that Dyrus has spent a lot of time playing, actually, on his streaming for me, keeping notes of that, which, of course, I think most of you here in the audience have, judging by the fan reactions to that one, and the Vi coming out as well for the odd one. Vladimir is perfect for Dyrus' style, too. He likes to stay up there by himself, just farm away. Since he's not going to be on Shen, he isn't going to have to worry about communication with the rest of his team and uh, staying united in. It's basically going to be him shoving the lane uh, as a solo split pusher with uh, a lot of spell vamp to keep him sustaining in that lane and then joining team fights much later. Meanwhile, the other combination that TSM are running here, the Z plus Vi is a very potent combo that can lock down um, even that Ari in mid lane here for Nuke Duck. Well, let me finish you there. It was that vein uh, that was picked up there at the end. And Tabs, of course, played a lot of that in the summer split and done really, really well with it. So while the team's loading the game, let's take a look at who you, the viewers, have been thinking are going to win this matchup. And I can tell you now, it's a close one. According to LawLeesports.com, 64% of you think that the guys in the back are all wrong and Team Solo Mid are going to take down the Lemon Dogs. So we do have a lot of TSM fans here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to watch out for the early tower pushing as well from TSM because anytime you do have that Caitlyn, even if they go up against something like Shen who would normally taunt 80 carries under the turret, Caitlyn can use her range and Wild Turtle is quick enough to sidestep back and avoid that extra damage. So a big game here. I think for both teams, you know, coming in off the back of what have been some close games, but you know, not close enough in the end of it, the obvious loss, uh, losses coming down from them. And, I think this is really going to separate and give a, a much-needed boost of confidence to whoever wins this match. Yeah, at this point, really both of these teams are looking up at OMG and SKT. And they're, they're fighting very, very hard to try and steal away one of those spots. So this game in particular is crucial for both these teams. So here we go then, in-game TSM versus Lemon Dogs. A crucial matchup for both sides. What are we going to be seeing at level one? Lemon Dogs right now headed all the way down their bottom lane. TSM a little bit more spread out. Maybe an N-rated special here. Early level one rush to the bottom lane for Lemon Dogs. Odd One does not get there in time. Oh, this is bad news. He's going to get taunted. He's going to get charmed. Odd One is a dead man. First blood Lemon Dogs. Zoro Zero picked it up. That is wow. the importance of buying your items extremely quickly. Those few extra steps that Lemon, got, Lemon Dogs got down there. Odd One had to walk all the way across the river, and he just barely did not make it into that bush in time. Because both Shen and Elise leveled up their crowd control abilities, an easy first blood there for Lemon Dogs. I guess the end rated special does pay off. First blood. And it wasn't even that special. That's the thing. It was, <laughs> it was no five man flashing over the wall. It was get down to that bottom brush as fast as we possibly that was can. A sprint. Yeah, the odd one just saunters on in, gets himself locked up with taunts and charms galore. And that will be first blood drawn for Lemon Dogs. And because Shen has grabbed that cloth armor on top of the Doran's Blade, probably looking for the two versus one lane here for Lemon Dogs. Uh, extra armor wouldn't do too much for him up against Vladimir. Well, we see that X Special and Wild Turtle are actually on this top side of the map, so they'll uh, be going up there. Zoro Zero will join them as well. So it's going to be a red buff start here for Dex, so exactly what he did in that last game against OMG where he started on the bottom side when they were blue. On the other side of the map, though, it will be a blue buff start for the odd one. So even after he goes down first, he did not blow his flash, so at least Odd One still has his summer spell available, and he can have an early game impact. The Vault, break, vault Breaker flashes are still very scary early. Even if he does not have his ultimate, he can get off one very potent game. We also saw that three out of the uh, five 
players, or four remaining players, obviously, with that kill, managed to pick up assists as well. And that's given a couple of the potions here and there added into uh, the tally for everyone. And this bottom lane, Thresh Caitlin for Wild Turtle, and next special up against the Vayne Lulu for Tabs and Mythy. So if they all get assists, then it actually spreads the assist gold really thin over the five of them. And they don't get a substantial lead to any of the other lanes. It's pretty much just Shen, who was uh, put into a, a one versus one here, as Caitlyn and Thresh rotate all the way down here to the bottom lane. So things getting started there up on that top side. Zoro Zero and Dyrus are going to be going at it. We'll see if Dexter tries to get in there and uh, capitalize on that Vladimir's. Uh, it's a weakness. I mean, running the Ghost Ignite there up in the top lane, we've seen a lot of Vladimir's, specifically in Europe, I'd say, as well, yeah. going full utility summoners with a Flash and a Ghost. Yeah, you know, Europe and Korea, uh, a lot of people that run the split pushing Vladimir opting for Flash as well. But Dyrus, with the extra kill potential of Ignite early, it'll be interesting to see if he does have to pay for his lack of Flash when the ganks do come around, because Shen and Elise is a very potent combo as well. Shen can set up ganks really, really well, because since he's already getting into melee range to farm minions, you don't get tipped off by his movements, and then Elise can follow up very easily with a cocoon. Oh, this is dangerous for the odd one. He's actually walked over the top of a ward right now. Elise is coming around from this one. Shen's going to oh. come down the top. Odd one could be in trouble from this one. They've seen his position. He's going to have to vault maker through. There's the taunt now. They stop him. Cocoon lands as well. He flashes over the top, but they're going to keep chasing. Dyrus coming down from the top lane. Lots of damage to the odd one. One more hit will do it. Dexter picks up the kill, and again, Odd one going down, paying it again for it. Oh, odd one, first and second blood. You're right, the ward right there, tipping off Lemon Dogs. And because he didn't do this very, very quick short vault breaker over the Baron pit right there, a very nice flash taunt there from Zoro Zero catching him. Really early lead for Lemon Dogs, which is very bad. Very bad for TSM. This. <laughs> Dexter actually. Pretty much between the turrets in that TSM mid lane. He will just repel over on towards those rates, which he'll take for free with the odd one going down a little bit earlier on. So this mid lane, we've not seen too much of it, but Reginald versus Nuke Duck, Ari versus Zed. Yeah, this is a classic matchup of the two most popular assassins in the league right now. And with Reginald starting off with the Doran Shield, he wasn't really looking for the that kill potential that we see when, when uh, Zed will start with the red elixir. And he's looking just to stay in there with the farm, which he's done a good job at. Currently level on that front as well. Neither of them uh, really backing off up until now. But we do have the odd one actually waiting in that mid lane here. And Nuke Duck not hit level 6 just yet. He's got his flash available. But look, he's turned around and done a lot of damage here on towards Reginald. There's the orb landing as well. And Reggie's going to have to back away with Dexter coming in from the side. There'll be no kills coming in from that one immediately. But Nuke Duck just showing how confident he is, not even blowing his flash. Genius plan there by the odd one. He gets Reggie to go all in and lose a trade so that he now gets mid lane farm. So odd one now can catch up. He's going to get some solo lane experience. That's exactly what he planned. From it, that yeah, one. so it was odd one coming in with the gank, but Nuka got the better of the trade there. So it was actually very bad for Team Solo mid. And some more Wraith camp abuse from Dexter. In this top lane, Dyrus has already hit level 6. Zoro Zero just a little bit behind him on that front, but once that Stan United comes in, and there it is, he'll be able to get involved. This bottom lane, not really seen any action, apart from obviously that first blood, which was down there anyway. Yeah, the duo lanes, not too much action here. But since, since there is a Thresh in this lane, you, Tabs and Mythy always have to be careful about the backwards lanterns. Now that now that Zoro Zero's got to stand united, it's going to be a little bit easier for them to answer any sort of aggression, though. So they stay pretty much under their turret from that one, very much aware of the danger that Thresh poses to them. Mid lane both champions now at level six. So Deathmark and the Spirit Rush available for Reginald and Nuke Duck. We'll see how that one all develops. Quite a few wards down there to alert of early presences of the odd one or Dexter coming in. 
I've been surprised that this top one, uh, this top lane has been relatively free from any kind of action, despite you know uh, uh, the, the only thing really happening was Zoro Zero coming down. But look at this: seven and a half minutes in Pink Ward on Dragon. They're going for it. Yeah, well, this is because Dyrus can't join the fight or interrupt Zoro Zero. So Lemon Dogs know they have the extra advantage. Team Solo Mid know that they have this too, though, so they won't even go contest. They don't waste any time, though, at least, going down to Dragon, so they at least shove in the mid lane and rotate up top. Oh, this is going to be a three versus one. Here's Zoro Zero. It's going to be bad times for him. Odd one going to come in. There's the ultimate coming out of Dyrus. Draws instantly that tower aggro as there is a taunt coming down. Dyrus now getting in there. Look how low he's gone from that one. The Ignite actually ticking. He's going to heal from it. The Odd one is going to go low as well, but they managed to pick up the kill. It was a little messy, but they got it nonetheless. But meanwhile, Dexter and Nuke Duck pushing mid. Definitely pretty messy there. Dyrus started off very early and still had tower aggro when he went back in to get taunted. Almost enough with the Ignite, but not quite. They do get the first turret, but you're right, Nuke Duck here, as well as Dexter, trying their best to answer at mid. These wraiths pretty much belong to Dexter <laughs> at this stage. I think that's the third time, maybe even four by now, that he's managed to pull them away and steal all that golden experience for himself. He's Funnily enough, behind on levels, though, to the Odd One at this stage. Odd One hitting six already. And that's the farm. I mean, Dexter has been in these lanes a lot more. And with Odd One six, that was really key to that gank being pulled off, too. If he was not six up there, with how close it turned out already, definitely, definitely would have been bad for them. But the kill going to Reginald means he can pick up his Cutlass. So now he has an active damage that he can apply to that death mark once he applies it. The slow also going to help him out with his second assassination. No, oh, Ward's down there. Oh, oh by Darius. And he's actually going to uh, be moving in there. So we saw the ping coming down for Nuke Duck, so they had the idea that Darius had come down from this top lane. He's currently roughly 20 CS ahead from that one. There's the stats for Reginald. 80% win ratio in the North American LCS summer split with that Zed. And again, returning to the Zed and RA matchup, it's very, very interesting once they both are six, because Nuke Duck can predict where where Reggie will appear, since the shadow goes down first. And if he's quick enough to Spirit Rush back and then land the charm, the one versus one matchup will go all his way. Whereas if Reggie's able to mind game him, then Zed gets the hundred percent kill. Kind of surprised here of, of how this game has developed. Think about it. 2-0 very early first blood. Lemon Dogs in the lead on pretty much all fronts. They've lost the tower though. They're only a couple of hundred gold ahead from this one. So they've not really been able to capitalize on those initial two kills. And right now the moves they're making don't look like they are going to do it soon here. Dexter does get the cocoon though. Into taunt. Let's see what Dyrus can do. There is a taunt coming down the pool. Walls down there from Dyrus. He loses half of his health, but he's not going down. He's low enough though that they can pressure this turret. And with mid already taking a lot of extra harass, Lemon Dogs are looking to answer that global gold pretty quickly. Yeah, and that could be the thing that swings it back well and truly over towards Lemon Dogs. There's a Hits taunt it. coming down on towards Tyrus. He's going to make put his ultimate down. That's not going to be enough. Now they pressure Nuke Duck. He flashes away from this one. Stan United coming down. There is a death mark. Nuke Duck goes down. Reginald picks up the kill. Zoro Zero trying to finish up the other one as he will get the kill with that taunt. But Reginald should have to flash away. Shadows used nicely here by Reginald. But does he have enough damage? Oh, oh he misses. Flashes in there. Can he get the finisher? Yes, he does. A little bit sloppy, but he got the kill. Oh, Mindy down in the bottom lane. Wild growth on two tap. Look at Tabs exhausted here from the side. Did a lot of damage and they're not done yet. They're going to keep going with this one. Wild Turtle losing oh. out a lot. There's a flash away. Piltover actually did a lot of damage to Mithy at the back and a crazy 30 seconds. Yeah, the net right there did, the 90 caliber net did miss Tabs, so they're able to both disengaged after that. The mid fight there, where Odd One and Reginald stayed on Nuke Duck and continued to focus. They didn't hesitate when the Stanonite Shield came in, and that was the key to them coming out with the extra kill right there. When, Stan when Shen Stan United appears, a lot of teams will instantly back off, but since they both focused him down, they were able to kill him before Zoro Zero arrived, and so that turned into another 2 versus 1 situation.
Darren's doing exactly as we expected in there, in that top lane as well. Just farming, farming, farming. About to hit triple digits at this stage. Up at 99. He's actually moving in once again for a ward down by that red buff. So this is something that TSM have actually done really well of. After the fact that Odd One did get caught out because of the ward before, they've managed to keep vision control of that top side of the Lemon Dogs jungle. And Dyrus is getting to that very scary Vladimir split pushing role right now because he's completed that Spectral Wraith item, which gives him so much spell vamp. It makes it very, very hard to push out of lane. Even without the flash, he's been doing very well at his job. Sticking around and Zoro Zero knowing that he's probably going to take more damage at this point than he can put down now with Tyrus up at level 10. While Turtle trying to farm himself into more of a lead here against Tabs. He's got currently a 10 CS lead, got that uh, BF sword in there with a pickaxe as well. Going to be finishing off those Berserker Greaves on his next trip home. And that turret is only hanging on by a thread in this bottom lane. The next minute or two is pretty much going to be determined by the roaming of the jungles and of the mid assassins. Whichever one can get the jump on the other is going to have a big, big lead coming in. They need to take advantage of the window, or Team Soul Mizzy to take advantage of the window between Shen Shen United coming back up. Oh, and there's the assault and battery going through. Nuke Duck here in so much trouble underneath the tower. Reginald picks up the kill. That will bring them level on the kills and a head in gold, and that's perfect timing for the Dragon. Well, there it is. Team Solo Mid are the ones who get the jump on the jungler solo, uh, solo mid assassin combo there, and it's perfect timing for the Dragon to come back up. Stan United will be available in the next two seconds here, but with that would leave the Vladimir continually shoving up that top lane. Yeah, and look at this. It's Tyrus going all in on towards Zoro Zero. He's going to pick up the kill, survive the turret hits as well. And that means that Shen can't get involved. The dragon already long done. And TSM stringing oh, it together. is coming down. He sees him through the ward, though. Oh, Dexter. Can he get around to that one? Ghost is already out. Ghost is gone. He's got nothing to speed himself up, but can Dexter get over? He's going to have the minions here to repel to in just a second. It's going to be about whether Dyrus can dodge this cocoon. Dexter is chasing in. Cocoon pretty much a mile away. Dyrus is going to walk off. Elise does gain 10 movement speed in that spider form. Yeah. So he was crawling to get back up, but Dyrus able to get the kill and escape. He's just showing us why he picked Ignite instead of Flash right there. Definitely the difference. Able to take down Zoro Zero. Reginald is still holding on to this tower. It went very, very low earlier on as TSM had that three man dive onto the top lane, but. He's still holding it. That one uh, denying that gold to the Lemon Dogs, who up until now are still to pick up a single turret in this game. TSM only one ahead after all, but that bottom turret at least is very low. That's been it's been very good dragon control from TSM. They just completely ignored the first dragon because they knew they had no answer for Shen. But for the second dragon, Dyrus timed his aggression, went right in as Zero Zero is looking down there. And it also caused the rotation from Dexter, so there was no answer from Lemon Dog. And there is Dyrus up at the top lane once again, coming back with a needlessly large rod. And those minion waves do not last very long at this stage of things, so that's uh, probably the similar thing for Zoro Zero, who finally got that spirit visage in there, so he should be feeling a little bit safer than he was before. As Dexter just helping out Nuke Duck get himself that blue buff as well. So as things calm down, TSM have themselves a 2,000 gold lead at this stage of the game. Lemon Dogs do have a Bane that's been towering up here, though. Again, in the mid lane! Going it's that Reggie Odd one combo. Yeah, going straight in towards Newton. There's a Salt and Battering. You can't get away from that one. Reginald, unstoppable now at 5-0-0 on the Z. Everybody in North America is used to Odd one being right behind Reggie all the time. Looks like Lemon Dogs weren't quite ready for that one, even with this mid-centric game. They're the ones to take down this first turret. Wow, Dexter <laughs> diving straight in there on top of him. Lost about half of his health. There's Dyrus in the top lane as well. He's, I think, got taunted underneath the turret there. That was the uh, problem why he took that bit of a hit, but he can heal himself all the way back up, and he continues to pressure that turret. Meanwhile, Tabs going in here on towards X Special. Stan United going to come in, but the box causing them some real problems. They can't keep up. 
The box definitely going to cost them right there. Shen, Stan United is blown, and the rest of TSM rotating down bottom to answer this even. Yeah, the odd one did start to come down in the top lane. Vladimir continuing to push that one through. The turret went very low, but not quite finishing it off as Nuke Duck was able to come around to keep it alive. That Stan United also means that Nuke Duck has to rotate to deal with Dyrus, but Nuke Duck has not been dealing uh, not been building to deal with a split pushing Vladimir. He's gone with the early arm guard because he was laying against Zed. So he's not the ideal person from Lemming Dogs to go answer this Dyrus split push. And they actually don't even want him to meet. So Reggie, who we pointed out as a key component of this TSM side, and he said it himself yesterday that he was feeling nervous that, or oh, the day before yesterday I should say, and he was feeling nervous that he didn't play well, that yes, he does need to play better, and he certainly turned up here today on Z 5 0, zero. Honestly, Nuke Duck has been pretty much a non-threat at this stage. Yes, he's kept up in the farm, but other than that, he's not had really an impact. And you got to give credit to Odd One, even yeah. after feeding the first two kills, his repeat visits to mid lane just show how good Vi is at getting those mid lane picks. That's why she was so popular in Europe, because so much of it revolves around those early mid game dual kills. And there is Dyrus once again, just visiting to obliterate that top lane. He's now 50 CS ahead of Zoro Zero. Lemon Dogs here have three men waiting on that bottom side. The odd one pinks up the dragon, which will be coming up in one and a half minutes and then should be able to visit that bottom lane as well either for the counter gank or to get in is Dyrus and Zoro Zero getting into a bit of an altercation once again but Dyrus taking a big chunk back will laugh in Zoro Zero's face and that turret only a couple of auto attacks away from being taken. Now down at the bottom lane Elise is setting up a counter gank here because they know that TSM want this turret and they're trying to use this low health turret as bait for TSM to get TSM to overextend in it and then pull up a counter gank, but they have the exact same idea as Odd Ones also come down bottom. So one thing that Dyrus has done well there, keeping vision in Ooh. the jungle. This time though, Nuke Duck has taken a there different path. He puts the ward down, will ulti on towards Nuke Duck. Look at that damage. Pull comes in from Dyrus. He sidesteps. Oh wow! Even finishing off the kill there in the end to Nuke Duck. Zoro Zero gonna chase him down, gets that kill back. In the meantime, bottom lane and turret taken there by TSM. That means that there's no presence middle for Lemon Dogs because they had the rotation up. Plus, they don't have anything bottom because Shen had to burn his stand United to try and protect Nuke Duck. But because of building for Zed, Nuke Duck did get killed by Dyrus. All the magic damage, there was no mitigation for it. Yeah, killed being the understatement there. He got <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Dragon is up. TSM have full control of this one. Dexter going to be zoned out of that area by Reginald, who's just sat there in the brush waiting for some easy spider killing. That won't happen for him, though. Dexter walks off, but Dragon goes over to TSM. As you see there, they've taken two out of the three Dragons so far. And this is a team that... Oh, this is the TSM that their fans have been really hoping for throughout this tournament. They look really, really good today. I think the, the mid picks are actually very crucial um, for TSM. And letting them get Reginald on a more comfortable champion really did cost Lemon Dogs. Seems like even with the early kills there, they weren't able to capitalize on anything. Oh. oh. This is oh, dangerous. Oh, Mithy, there's the death mark going down. He'll wild grow to, uh, growth himself. Actually, flash away there. And Mithy survives just about walking in there with that Oracle. That could have been a lot more dangerous previously, but now that Oracle goes through death. Reginald here, let's forget about that one. Odd one's coming in. Dexter now the one in trouble. He flashes away. He's burning from the ignite, and Reggie picks up another kill. And there are four men now from TSM in the enemy jungle. They're going to steal away the Red Bull. TSM plays usually start with Reginald. He was the one to get this off the ground, and Odd one coming back in again for another combo kill. Dyrus finally does get credit for that turret kill as well. He has spent so long in that top lane, as you say, just on an island up there and mm -hmm. a bit of a tropical lovely weather island, I have to say, because he's really not had any problems, despite the you know three men coming in there to finish him off earlier on. It's been pretty much plain sailing for him, and look at the gold here as well. It's 
increasing every single minute that we look at it. TSM doing everything right at this stage. Odd one definitely showing he's very, very proficient on that buy as well. Yeah, and this is Odd One who died at level one face checking into the brush at the bottom of the river and then again in the jungle that you know, a lot of players at that stage would Ooh. just think, you know, we're done from this one. Red Buff was actually picked up there by Lemon Dogs, not quite stealing it away. Yeah, Lemon Dogs right now. I think I think they'll be looking at tabs for the big plays because Nuke Duck has gone for the hourglass since Ooh. he's he's been taking so much damage from Reginald. Wants to be able to Zanya's that death mark which means that he has not built either the Deathfire Grass or the Abyssal Scepter. And it's going to be Tab's dueling potential with the Blade of the Ruined King on Bane that gets Lemon Dogs back into this if they are able to have anything get them back into this. Look at the pressure as well here from TSM. Top side of the Lemon Dogs jungle. And quite frankly dominating it. You've got full vision control there. Lemon Dogs keep having a bit of a sneak in and then coming back out. It's Mithy that's currently holding onto that oracle. They use their wards to carve out a path of their own just to make sure that no one's waiting, but oh. there is someone waiting. Odd one gonna ult in. Nuke Duck uses Zonyas. Will he be able to escape? There is Zoro Zero coming down. A big fight going on as Reginald dives into the back, picks up one kill. Can they get more? Yes, Zoro Zero's down. Nitty won't escape. Now they chase down Dexter as well. He'll be locked up. Finished off by a double kill there from Reginald. And that is four kills. Maybe even a fifth here. Tab's very low. They'll leave him alone. They may as well just turn around and have Baron. That's why vision control is so important when you're facing Vi. TSM did a great job of controlling the Lemon Dogs jungle, and they're the ones able to make the move inside Lemon Dogs jungle, get the pick. And after that, this is the reason why Zed is such a highly prized assassin. You saw right there, area of effect damage from that assassin. When Reggie went in with his ultimate, the Shadow Slash hit the entire Lemon Dogs team. And Dyrus comboing on top of that adds so much area effect. And I think in those messy team fights as well, that's where where Zed really is hard to pin down because he's just gone. And you have to figure out where that death mark's coming down. And well, certainly mopping up from that one. 802 now is Reginald on that Zed. Meanwhile, Tab's trying to get a second turret here for Lemon Dogs with a big wave down on this bottom side, but he's going to have to be careful. Reginald's coming over, got that Blade of the Ruin King already in there. Lemon, and Lemon Dogs do want to take advantage of Tab's ability to duel here. Nuke Duck in the bush. Yeah, Nuke Duck waiting for that one. There's the pin against the wall. Reginald, you got baited, son. Yeah, that's definitely the definition of bait. Very well played by Lemon Dogs right there. You can't say more than there's an Ari in the bush. Speaking of in the bush, Dyrus comes out from one. Zoro Zero says, you know what? Don't think I can fight him. Two level advantage he's got on me, plus that Baron buff. And Dyrus is not finished here. He's going to keep chasing. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, three-man team from Lemon Dogs trying to get in on towards that inner turret. Dyrus is still chasing on that top side of the map. And in the end, will finally give away. He also picked up a level as he was sprinting through there. But TSN, they've lost half of their uh, health on this bottom turret. Kind of strange considering how much TSM have been dominating and they've got Baron buff on that Lemon Dogs just got in a situation to pin TSM on their own tower. Yeah, even though TSM have lost Reginald and they're down one champion, they have a static Shiv, Caitlyn, who's great at clearing out waves, so they could easily defend a bottom turret, even three versus four. And Lemon Dogs don't want Dyrus versus Zoro Zero so low up in the top lane because Dyrus is, will slowly get the advantage in that matchup. So even with the pickoff there from Lemon Dogs, they aren't able to get a substantial lead back. If you look down the CS totals at this point, so just one-sided across everywhere. Uh, on the map from this one. We do have that dragon coming up now with just seven seconds to go. And this is TSM's. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was such a hard call to make. Lemon Dog's nowhere near it. They've got no vision whatsoever down on this bottom side. The Oracle is clearing everything out. Between Reginald and Wild Turtle, they make very quick uh, work of this dragon. And now they can move straight on towards their next turret on the map on this bottom lane. Yeah, I think at this point, TSM. They only have to worry about those small baits and the bush ganks and the picks that are going to come from Lemon Dogs. At this point, and you see someone solo pushing like that, you have to guess that there's probably some sort of trap set up for you if you're TSM or Reginald. Um, 
but him going headlong into that bush didn't actually hurt them that much. And they're still able to shove down here with Baron buff. They have a few, a little bit longer left on that Baron buff. Zoro Zero actually pushing this top lane out. Does have Stan United, of course, so he can get straight back in when things are needed. And he probably will have to here because it's a 5v4 on that inhibitor turret right now. He needs to come back. The hook flying through. There's a hook. Uh, the cocoon coming on towards X Special, but they dive in towards that back line. Tab's going low. Dyrus will ulti in there as well. That's going to really break them down low. Dyrus actually will pull as he picks up the kill on Tab. Mithy real low at the back. Ace in the hole comes through. He won't get the kill, but Reginald will finish that one off. That's two men down, and an inhibitor will follow. Great. CC chain there from TSM and Dyrus at this point adding on the death cap able to add so much air effect damage they also come out with the building destruction there just a giant win for them and they they just have to watch like we said before the picks from Lemon Dog at this point in the game well funnily enough it was the Lemon Dogs who managed to land the cocoon there and thought okay we can actually do something here <clears throat> the hook though there yeah, from X special the starting it off it's really going to be dangerous so let's see what comes out here as they head off home? Obviously, Wild Turtle now with that Infinity Edge, Shiv, Last Whisper, and himself that uh, Vamp Scepter added in as well for Reginald, Last Whisper as well as that Blade of the Ruin King, Brutalizer, Hex Drinker. Look at Dyrus, Death Cap, and the Zonyas in there as well. Like, yeah, that's a very, very scary Vladimir. And we expected this to happen, that he's just going to sit there in this top lane and farm and farm and farm and farm. And there's been no real answer to that one. We've seen, I think, one time where they tried to shut him down and Nuke Duck got destroyed himself. It is a little bit surprising that they haven't tried to punish Dyrus for taking Ignite instead of Flash. But that does go back to the style that I was talking about. Nuke Duck likes to control his lane more mid, uh, early in mid game instead of roaming a lot very early. He likes to get his power spike and then transition into being a split pusher. But since Odd One kept repeat ganking mid, they got him behind early. There's another bush gank. This is what TSM had to watch out for. Ulti down there for Dyrus. There's the Zonya's going to be used from Dyrus as well. Tabs has gone low. There's a Lantern. Brilliantly done. Wild Turtle taking down okay. the mid turret. Tabs is going to be dead from this one. Dyrus comes back around. Here is Dexter being focused. The odd one on top of him as Wild Turtle going to chip slowly but surely away on the Spider who probably only needs two more hits. Pulse oh. over missing. Odd one finishes off and now Reggie going in towards Mithy. And it's Wild Turtle. And finishes off that kill with the ace in the hole. This is going to be another inhibitor, possibly the game for TSM. Even Dyrus getting picked off there. The Zonya's hourglass completed in time, buys him enough time to survive to the Fresh Lantern. Congratulations to TSM, they're running on Nexus turrets. Yeah, Nexus turrets going down. Zoro Zero, the only man that can really do much about this one. Nuke Duck actually fighting with Dyrus there on the bottom side. Reggie. Not quite landing in there, but they're going to finish the game. TSM get the victory against the Lemon Dogs. And that's going to give them a massive boost of confidence here going forward in the groups. <laughs> you can see what it means that, to them as well. That's a happy Reggie. This entire crowd here completely behind them. And, well, against Lemon Dogs, who... Look at Europe, the summer split. These were the team to beat for the second half of it. They were so very consistent. One of the top favorites here coming out of Europe, of course, with Fnatic and Gambit. And TSM, I don't know where this TSM team's been for their last couple of games, but they need to make sure they turn up for the next days as well. Definitely that scrimming against the international teams paid off. This is going to give them also a huge confidence boost. Going against Nuke Duck, Nuke Duck is a very, very good mid laner. And Reginald doing that well with all the repeats gank ganks from Odd One is going to boost his confidence a lot. We'll have to see if it translates later in the day when he goes up against the final boss, which is Faker. If he can do a fraction of that against Faker, then 